Well, as a teenager, I've been thinking a lot more about my life. You know, you know looking back, seeing what I've done, if I've done any good as a Christian, and looking at myself right now, you know, am I still doing good? And looking at myself in the future, you know. And I go through this deep thinking. It's just a deep <laughs> line of thoughts of my life and things in my life and the people in my life and who I'm living with and who I encounter with and, you know, the things in between. And one day I just stopped everything that I was doing and I just started to think. And I started to have doubts. Doubts, you know, what if there isn't a God? This is a thing that goes in my mind quite often, but not anymore. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, Don said, there actually, is there, a, is there really a God? <laughs> and, you know, there are so many religions out there. How do I know that I have the right one? How do I know that I'm believing the right one? If I die, then I'm wrong. It's all over. And these are, those are some of the thoughts that go through my mind. And then I start to doubt even more, and I begin to fear, feel this weird sense of separation, you know, from the world around me, and I feel lost in this thought, and I feel completely alone, just isolated in this doubtful stage. And so I wrote this poem. It's called Here I Am. This place of funny feelings I can't quite explain. It doesn't have distinct figures or even a name. Could I be dead? Or is it all in my head? Could this be real? Why would these sinful wounds heal? Angels pray for me. God, please find me. I'm in the dark and cannot see. Find me, guide me, I wish to see your face. Honest me to your kingdom. Don't leave me in this funny place. And God says, Son of mine, young man of divinity, come live with me for eternity. I never had to look, for I'm always here next to you. Son of mine, the next step is now up to you. Take my hand and live among a fruitful land. And whenever in need, remember, here I am. Then I read the poem to myself, and it gave me hope. So I pray, God, make yourself real to me. I want to know. And so he did. He showed himself real to me by giving me three things. He gave me understanding, faith, and bold courage. Amen. Understanding of my situation and why I feel alone and why, you know, I don't have to. And faith to just lay everything down, to just trust in him when I'm and a complete mess. And bold courage to speak out his word to all of my friends. He also showed me that Jesus felt alone. Also. When all of our sins separated him and God while he was hung on the cross. And since he felt that loneliness for me, I didn't have to. So I, I didn't feel alone in him. And turn with me to Psalms 138, verse 8 through 10. It says, If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, thou art there. And if I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. Then I start to see the love our God has for us. Oh, wait. Is he able <laughs> and then I realized that I was never alone, nor ever will be alone. And then with further fellowship with my dad and with God, he showed me Romans 8, verse 38 and 39. Whoa. And that says, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, 
which is in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Then I started to see the love our God has for us, and I felt it, and I wanted to share it. So I went to my friend's house, and, you know, just to hang out, do bad things, and you know, wrestle around. And then Stephen said to me, I really wanted to know my dad. I'm like, well, I know my dad. And I'm like, yeah, I, I really want that. I'm like, I can show you that. And so he asked me how. You know, and I said, I told him, you know, God, God loves you. I mean, he's your father. He created you. You know, he says, well, yeah, I know that, but I mean, my birthday, you know, my, the dad gave me birth. I'm like, you did that? No. <laughs> but yeah. I never I never felt my, my dad's love. I'm like, well I can show you that love. Like, I can I can, you know, help you with that. And God gave me the bold courage to lead him to Christ that day. Praise God. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> wow. That's cool. Yeah, it is cool. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and now we we just that's pretty much all we talk about now. He wants to know more. So, yeah. And I hope that someday or soon, maybe in a couple of days, we'll just go out to our school and just start spreading the word. This day is the Lord, as this day that our Lord and Savior was beaten, brutalized, and hung on the cross. This is the day we remember and rejoice, rejoice for and in his sacrifice for us. This Friday is indeed a good Friday. Amen. Amen. Amen.